In this video, you'll learn how to describe the end behavior of the graph of a logarithmic function. The end behavior of a function tells whether the value of the function f of x increases or decreases as x approaches positive infinity and as x approaches negative infinity. Let's take a look at an example. Describe the end behavior of the function f of x equals log base 4 x plus 4. In order to describe the end behavior, you'll need to graph the function. To graph the function, you'll need to test points on the graph to determine if the function increases or decreases. The y-intercept is the point of the graph that has an x-coordinate of 0. This is the point at which the graph crosses the y-axis. Substitute 0 for x in the equation of the function. f of 0 is equal to log base 4 of the sum 0 plus 4. Simplify the equation so that you have log base 4 of 4. The log base 4 of 4 is 1, so the y-intercept is the point 0, 1. To determine the behavior of the graph, choose another test value of x and evaluate the function to find its corresponding coordinate. Take the value x equals 12. f of 12 is equal to log base 4 of 12 plus 4. Simplify to get that f of 12 is log base 4 of 16. The log with base 4 that is equal to 16 is 2 because 4 squared is 16. So the point 12, 2 is on the graph. Use the two test values and the y-intercept to sketch your graph. Using the graph drawn, you can determine that end behavior of the logarithmic function. Notice that as x increases, the value of f of x is also increasing. Note that the vertical line x equals negative 4 is a vertical asymptote. Therefore, as x approaches negative 4, f of x approaches negative infinity. So the end behavior of a logarithmic function shown is that as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. And as x approaches negative 4, f of x approaches negative infinity. Now you know more about the end behavior of a logarithmic function. See you next time.